So far, we've modeled process diagrams, associated Genexus objects to the elements in diagrams, and executed those processes. But we did all these tests with the administrator user, which is the quick way to prototype each change we make. If we want to include several participants in the testing stage, we must define roles and users and assign users to the roles that will be executing each task. In a process diagram, to manage access to tasks, we must define specific roles that will be part of the model. Those roles are defined at the KB level. To do that, we must go to the window Preferences, Workflow, and double-click on Roles. We will see a window open up where we can enter the roles we want to add to the model. In this case, we will define two roles, a Travel Agency Employee role and a Travel Agency Manager role. Once we have the roles defined, we must assign, for each task, which roles are allowed to execute it. To do that, we go to the Flight Ticket Reservation diagram and select the Ticket Reservation task, and then click on its Roles property. We will see that a dialog box opens up with the roles we defined previously, with the possibility of assigning them to the task. We select the Travel Agency Employee role and press Add because the employee is in charge of entering reservations. We do the same for the Notify Customer of Authorization task. Now we go to the Validate Reservation diagram and repeat the operation while we assign the same Travel Agency Employee role to tasks Contact Airlines, Add Customer Information Required for Traveling, and Check Reservation Documents. On the same Validate Reservation diagram, we assign the Travel Agency Manager role to tasks Evaluate Customer and Authorize Reservation Customer Care Manager, because only one manager user will be allowed to assess customers and authorize reservations. In addition to defining roles for tasks, we can also define roles for processes, determining which users may execute each process. To define the roles allowed to execute the flight ticket reservation process, we go to the diagram and select the None Start Event symbol and click on its Roles property. We assign the Travel Agency Employee role so that only users with this role may initiate the reservation process. We then press OK. Once we've defined roles at the model level, we must define users and assign to them the roles in GXflow Client. But prior to that, we must impact the changes of definitions we made at the model level. To do so, we go to Tools, Workflow, Deploy Business Processes, and then click on Add, select the Flight Ticket Reservation diagram, and press Deploy. We open a window in the browser and go to the GXflow Client's URL. We log on with the administrator user and go to the Administration Console organizational model, and then click on Roles. We can see that the roles Travel Agency Employee and Travel Agency Manager we created from Genexus are impacted. We also view other special roles that were already created. These roles enable us to assign to users permits relative to processes and authorizations for executing administration tasks in GXflow Client. The Administrator role allows users to perform all actions in all applications of GXflow Client. The Manager role allows users to access the Process Manager and carry out the actions related to process instances. The Manager Read-Only role can view the same as Manager, but is not allowed to perform any actions. The Security Administrator is allowed to view and work on the Management Console only. The prototyper allows the execution of all tasks, regardless of the role assigned to them, and this facilitates the development work. Now let's define users. In the Administration Console, we click on Users to open a screen for administrating the system's users. The only user defined so far is the Administrator user, which is created by default by the Workflow Engine. To create a new user, we press New and enter its user. A. Smith. 
its name, Anna Smith, and the email address, which is asmith at gmail.com, and also its password, 123456. We confirm the password, and we'll define that the password must be changed upon the first login. We press OK, and see that user Anna has been created, appearing in the user's window. We will now create another user under the name of Peter Kent and fill out all the details, using also 123456 as its password, followed by OK. And we confirm that user P. Kent has been created. Now we go to the roles application and assign the roles we defined for these users. First, we select the travel agency employee role and press the members button and in the dialog box, we select user Peter Kent, and then press OK. Now we select the travel agency manager role, and user Anna Smith, and then press OK. With the users we've created, we can log on to GXflow client instead of doing it always with the administrator user. To be able to do this, we must first modify the workflow execution mode, so we go back to Genexus.